So we're here in the off season with the Nashville Predators after a well, a very strong draft. We had that one pick that we don't talk about, but a very strong draft. We do need to spend some money here in free agency to uh, mainly to hit the cap floor here. As uh, as you can see there, we are quite a bit below the cap floor, but a lot of good growth coming out. Handela, I think, is going to be ready to be the one C. Now the question is, will Loxo be ready to be on that first line with him? Bit of a different question, but if not, maybe we'll even put him, or put Hanula down on that third line to play with him. I don't know, we might mix things up. Evangelista is going to look very, very good. Uh, this is the last year. We're probably going to, if we don't plan on keeping this guy, sell him. But he's only 25, man. Like, I might, might actually want to keep Evangelista around. He's a good, like... He's just a, yeah, he's just a pretty damn good player. I want puck skills. So, okay, cool. So he got all the stat growth in, like, his puck skills, and I'm giving him more puck skills. Well, whatever. He would be good to play with the Hanula, simply because we know Hanula actually shoots quite a bit. Anyway, we also got Tolvin and still Mantha still. Kind of missing, like, a 2C type guy. Granlin's got to get bumped down. If we're looking at just the forwards... There's your top six, right? You're you're, you're hoping Kemmel and Loxo are gonna be ready for that for those top six minutes. Um, one of these guys could go down. Yeah, which means I might want to grab a two C here. Granlund is not that anymore. He's last year of his deal. He's in the three C category. We could you you know put Laktipov with him, and then we hope Rubrek gets that jump. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Rubrek getting a jump, being ready for that third line. And then Granlin can kind of, you know, baby those guys up. Then you have Asimov, Beckman, and Svechkov as your fourth line. So really, I'm thinking like a, a centerman. But the problem, you know, the problem being there wasn't a whole ton of that. And we might need like a, a depth, uh, depth forward piece. So here's the thing though. <laughs> there was not much. In the way of forwards here. Shane Wright is obviously tendered. You got Evan Rodriguez. So it's really Rodriguez or Cop. Neither one of them are that good, Drouin. Yeah. It's not an amazing situation here. He's okay. Wants four years. Rodriguez is probably the better one to go for here. We are at a stage, though, where I think we can maybe start signing a couple older guys, you know? Cop is also not bad. Also, only wants two years, but he's got to be... Oh my god, he's so good at face-offs. He's got to be morale up. Or, uh, stat, stat growth up, one of the two. And again, Rodriguez is looking like he should fit into our, uh... Our lines here. I mean, I, it feels like all of these guys are kind of stat growthed up, you know? So, it's it's not really anything great here, but we have to get something to play for our for our kind of second line here. Otherwise, we're in a bit of trouble. I don't like that Rodriguez wants three years, which is, I'm almost leaning to cop in that regard. Now, here's the thing. He's listed as third liner at 86. It makes me feel like maybe he's going to drop down a bit after we sign him. Yeah, we're not going to be very strong down the middle. Which, it is what it is, kind of. Yeah, which is something might, we might have to deal with. I just... Here's the thing, though. We can decrease the... We can overpay someone like crazy. Like, I could do a year of Rodriguez and just overpay the, the hell out of him because we have to spend money anyway. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards right now. I would prefer Rodriguez over anyone. All right, I don't have to go that much. Let's chill out here a bit. I don't know how much I'd have to give him. But, uh, again, we have to spend some money, so I might as well just give him, like, 10 mil for a year. <laughs> Let's give Evan Rodriguez a payday. That's what I'm thinking here for Rodriguez. Is just kind of give him a year 10 mil. Yeah, kind of leaning towards that. Just to kind of spot fill for a year. Okay, yeah, he's going to accept right off the bat, too. So we'll do that. We will need 
a depthish piece. I think that's the only thing we need. I'm gonna take a closer look at what that bottom six is, is gonna kind of look like. But yeah, my my goal is that Rubrec is gonna be ready to jump up. If he's not, we're gonna have to think of something else. But like, yeah, on that forward side of things, you know, Evangelista, Hanula, Colvin, and Mantha now with Rodriguez in there. Loxo between Loxo and Kemmel, someone might have to be down. Which is kind of makes it a bit tricky. Yeah, it, it does make it a bit tricky. But then again, you know, Mantha, we could ship out one of these guys to kind of make some more space, which we might have to do because we kind of have a bit of a log jam. I don't want it to be Granlin necessarily because we need a centerman. We don't really have too many. So yeah, if, if you're looking third, maybe. It, it, it does, you know what, but Mantha gives us the option if Rubrak isn't quite ready, if he doesn't get the jump I'm looking for, or Latipov. It depends on which one I kind of want to see. And honestly, Latipov only with 83s, he might even, I might even have him not play NHL immediately. That's, that's kind of low on the offensive awareness side of things to be playing on that line. Whereas you took a look at Rubrak, if he jumps, he's absolutely ready. And I would kind of prefer him over Latipov. So that's my thinking, at least. Third line of that. Fourth line is Fetchkov, Beckman, Asimov. And then, yeah, you need your depth. Uh, yeah, so it's a depth forward, really. And that's all I'm looking for. Defensively, yeesh. Kern is listed as depth. I don't know if I want to play him NHL. We just, oh, man, we just don't have enough. Schaefer's not going to be ready, I don't think. You got Stastny, but then Molendijk probably isn't going to be ready. Oh, he's also OFD. Shit. This whole time I thought he was something else. Yeah. <laughs> we need some defensemen here for sure. We need to tighten up. We need to start getting better. So yeah, we're going to be looking, uh, looking for some defensemen here. Let me give uh, Rodriguez some offseason focus. Uh, he didn't have the greatest face-offs. I could make his face-offs better. I'm less concerned about that and more concerned about... Yeah, I'm just... You know what I'm going to do. Just boost that a little bit more if I can. But let's go once again. We obviously right, still need a depth piece, so I'll just go for that right now. Oop. Let's find a solid depth piece who could kind of do anything. Turcotte, wow. Is he? No, he's not tendered. Let's see what he's like. Mm, decent. Not amazing, but I got my eyes on him. I'd love a guy with a secondary position, but it's not the end of the world if he doesn't have it. And he's kind of looking like the best here. So I couldn't really take face-offs. I'm kind of leaning towards Turcotte. He's not amazing in any category, but he kind of fits the bill. He's at least decent in every category. Yeah. You know, let's grab Turcotte here on a year. You know, I'll just give him an exact... I'll just bump him up a little bit for fun, because we can. Give him, just give him two mil for a year. Okay. We'll get Turcotte locked in. Now, defensively, we, there's at least enough guys there. Don't want another OFD. And, uh, yeah, they're all, like, freaking right-handers, which is hilarious. Carlo is actually very interesting to me. The years, though, man. That's one thing I am concerned about is a lot of the years for a lot of, uh, a lot of these guys. Gavrikov, two years at this around this price tag. But the thing I'm looking at is organizational interest. Yeah, that's what I'm really looking at. Just a solid DFD, and he's got good defensive stats, so I'm not too concerned about his overall being lower. And uh, with these two years, we can obviously bump him up, which I'm going to do. I know it's right on the button, but again, we need to say, uh, spend a little bit of money here. We're not going to have anything major kicking in, and we're going to have guys fall, you know, leaving. So I'm going to kind of get ahead of the curve here, get an extra 5 mil going for next season. So Gavrikov, and, and I want one of the, I don't like that Carlo wants four years, around that price. 
because we're gonna because his org you know organizational interest is lower we have to kind of go up but <sighs> could do a similar thing that we did with uh, the other dude it was just do a year and kind of <laughs> readjust from there oh my god you'd have to get like 11 mil for a year which definitely puts us at the cap. Oh God, man, what do I what do I need to get him freaking full on the contract? Apparently, not even this. <laughs> Holy shit! Now this does this will essentially move Carrier off that. Not really though. Like we could just get him and then still have Carrier on the top. That's so crazy. Do I gotta even give McDavid money for it to be full? I uh, know I gotta give him Matthews money. Even do. <laughs> Look how much we'd have to give Carlo to freaking max out the contract thing. Buddy. What? Oh, that's, it's still not even, how do, can I not max, is it like just capped? Yeah, it's capped the amount it can move up. That's nuts. I didn't know it could do that. I didn't, I didn't actually know there was a limit on how much you can move up the contract. Dang, yeah, he really doesn't want. Okay. So right here is the max that it'll actually... It's <laughs> so crazy. He might not sign this, dude. But whatever. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> That's, like, actually insane. But again, we, I do, I do want to improve the defense here. So again, that'll at least put us up in that category. And did I even need a... Did I still need a depth guy for defense? I'm, I can't even remember if I signed... I think I auto-signed someone, so he should be appearing here. Yeah, like Carrier, Gavrikov, Blankenberg, Shen. Stastny for sure. One, two, three, four, five. We're getting one more guy. Yeah, actually, I was using someone else's depth. Let's see. Two, three, four. Yeah, I'm gonna, all right, I'm gonna, Jesus, I'm gonna have to do the same thing again. Just, we have way too many down. And I want as many playing and trying to grow as possible. Pretty, pretty, just put to put it simply. So yeah, um, so yeah, we're gonna possibly use Dawes. I think we, I think he deserves a shot at backup. We're gonna get another, just one year of a goaltender. Because Nylander gets signed next year. So yeah, that's kind of all we need now. Yeah, so our depth defenseman is gonna be absolute shit, but hey. Not the end of the world. We're still, we're not in the uh, trying to amazingly compete phase yet. Some starter, 68. I have to get him for three years, though. Yeah, because he's hot off the presses. Damn. That does suck. Which. Yeah. Mm, you know what? Let's Let's see who else. Oh man, there's really not that many good ones here. Yeah, damn. I was hoping for... Well, whatever. We can just get this guy for like a year. He can duke it out with our other guy for the starting role. I, and I am only going to give him a year. But I should be able to get him... Ooh. He should sign that. He should honestly sign that one year. I could even make it a one way, but I do want to have someone available to call up. So let's try that. Yeah, so that should do it. Let me see if we get those guys that we're trying to sign. All right, we're going to get a bunch of scouts. I'm going to have one reject because there was freaking nine other A's available. So we actually are going to have, for the first time in a while, a full A scouting squad. All right, we got the new goalie coach. Come on. Uh, Carlo rejected. Uh, yeah, I had a feeling he might. Okay, and no, no, no. Uh, he he accepted Hammerla. So that was it, right? It was just no. Crap. So we did not get Carlo. That sucks. But what can you do, man? He was highly coveted, I guess. And now, yeah, the only thing left is freaking Marino. And guys who want hell years, that sucks. Really sucks.
<sighs> Mostly right-handed guys. I really don't want to get Krug. He's already down in the top six. He's 36. This is awful, honestly. This is an awful selection left. All they're all fucking old as hell too. Jesus. Oh my god, this sucks. Yikes, yeah. I what what can you do, dude? I offered him fucking like 13 million. Oh crap. Labushkin makes the most sense. Just because the organizational interest is up there. Obviously gonna overpay him mainly to hit floor. We're we're kinda near or at the floor, but still. So get us up to like 89. No, 79. Jesus. I'm just giving him 10 mil. I've just got gotta get someone else on contract. Yeah. Craziness. Okay. Um uh, just get Labushkin. Just something. Yeah, our defensive core is going to be absolute shit still. I was really, I really wanted to get Carlo, but yeah. Making, yeah, giving him only a year when he wanted, yeah, he wanted a contract, but anyway. He, yeah, he signed that automatically. So yeah, we're at the cap floor. We got enough players. <laughs> oh man, Kavrikov. Again, probably just go defensive awareness for these dudes. Yikes. That sucks, man. But we need bodies in there. It's they're not great, but hey, they should have enough like good uh, defensive. All these guys are gonna get defensive awareness, by the way. Even Turcotte, his was only at eighty three. I'd love to get that up a bit more. So let's do that real quick. I love that you can do this after you sign, guys. It's really handy. Yeah, same thing with Turcotte. If we can get a chance to bump him up to eighty four, he'd be. And then watch him change to a fourth liner <laughs> and nerd armor all season. Anyway, that's going to be everyone that we get. That's going to be our off season here. And it should have all the scouts and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm going to sim up here and uh, start getting the lines and this team put together. So these are going to be the lines, at least tentatively at first, to start off the season. Tolvin and Hanula Evangelista. Loxo Rodriguez Manta. Loxo's still at 84. Now he is only 20, but buddy needs to grow. Plain and simple. Um, Rubrek, uh, Granlin, and Kemmel as the third line. Same thing with Kemmel. Kind of just needs to grow. We could always, you know, we could swap the two. I do like the plus two chemistry here. That helps him out like a lot. So that's why I'm keeping it there. That third line's decent. Then Beck, Beckman, Shvechkov, and Asimov as that fourth line. Defensively, you got Gavrikov with Carrier, Labushkin, Molendyke, and then Blankenberg and Shen. Got one OFD on each one. Yeah, we have three. Terrible, but hey, it's, it's what we got. Ugh. Power play, I cannot get plus as much with how I want to kind of design this. We got Loxo here. He'll be taking the shots, but we'll also have uh, Kemmel on the uh, 1T right here. And uh, Hanalo over here. Carrier is going to be quarterbacking. And then the second unit, Carrier quarterbacking again, although I could put in Molendyke. To kind of spread some of the love. Yeah, let's see how good we can get this guy. He's not he's 22 though. He's also got low low ass awareness. Yeah, he'll still be the distributor. Rubrek is gonna be on the one T's there getting the finishes. Beckman, I'm just throwing him in there because like he's got high offensive stats. Who the hell knows? And it's also a minus two. Penalty kill, I actually didn't really touch. We have terrible chemistries. I think it's partially the coach. Honolo with Beckman. Grandland Evangelista, sure. Like it's whatever. Too many OFDs probably to get things going well. I liked uh, what they what they suggested for the four and four, so I'm keeping it for the uh, forward pairings. Rodriguez, Tolvin, and Granlin, Evangelista. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I know we're not gonna have Rubrek in there, but that's kind of okay. Let's not overload the guy when he's still listed as depth. He's got power play time. So three on three, obviously the forward pairings would be the same. And then Carrier, Molendijk. And Blankenberg, all the OFDs. That's the one advantage. Hanno and Loxo as the extra attacker. Shootout is whatever the hell it suggested, which is this. I never really change it. We got Darth Vader and Nico Dawes as the goalies. He's not actually listed as backup. I'm giving it to him anyway. And then uh, Stastny as one depth piece. And Turcotte as the other. 
So that's that. I'll give you guys a quick look at the AHL so you can see our guys. I did put Loktipov down there. I know he's an 81 versus the 80, but again, it's the offensive stats for me, his offensive awareness and passing, where I think he needs he needs to start AHL. He'll be playing with Jonathan Thornton, you know, another sniper, sure, with and then Weissblatt, two-way, but I get a plus two. We'll see how they work together. LaRue is a power forward, so like, we couldn't really get a nice playmaker with Latipov, so yeah, we'll see. This is an entire fourth line of defensemen, which, oof. Um, I had to put in Hawk manually, because obviously I want a top four 20-year-old to be playing. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to kind of do those lines, but we got Schaefer and Kern both, both in here. In fact, let's play them together. Yeah, it doesn't change the chemistry. So yeah, we want that. Guards also is a low elite. Like, we got tons and tons of good stuff. But I want Kern and Schaefer to be the guys, obviously, we prioritize. Goaltender-wise, Clifford and Hammerla. And then a few too many scratches. Pretty sure they're all defensemen again. <laughs> like, holy crap. Apparently, I have way too many defensemen. But yeah, we are going to have to kind of manually do the uh, AHL because I, I have adjusted certain things to get certain guys playing. So this is the lineup. Again, not exceptionally strong. Not a huge, huge upgrade, but it's enough of one. Obviously, we got some season goals to do, so let's go ahead and do that. Tolvanen. Again, I don't think he shot a ton. No, he actually did. Let's try to get him 30 goals. He, he, sh he can do it. We work we're working on his shooting. So let's try to get him a bit of something. Boost his ass up. Yeah, 30 goals. Let's get him snipe. Alrighty. Uh, Hanula, we are, he already has quick draw now. I'd love to get him that third eye, man. He needs a passing X Factor. Who knows if he generates one on his own. So I'm going to get him at least pursuing one. 40 assists, like he's got to be able to get that. He has to be able to get 40 assists. I know he got a lot of goals last season and such, but we I really need him to try to get 40 assists here. Uh, Evangelista... I think he's actually going to pursue assists. Yeah, he's absolutely going to pursue assists, too. So, Tol the, the the board is set for Tolvanen. He's got to be able to get going on his own here, right? Like, he's got it. With those two guys, he's got to be able to score some goals. Plain and simple. Loxo, I'll try to get him the, uh, the one T. I can also just improve his shot. Just say we think he's going to get 30 goals and just try to improve his shot, see what else he can develop on his own, but he's not quite there yet. But I do think I should go with a stat challenge. He's got a solid start of X-Factors. I don't want him to have too many shooting ones. I want him to be, you know, unique enough. So, yeah, I, I think I'm going to need 30 goals. I think he can get that, boost up his shot accuracy. Yeah. Let's just do that, see what else he can develop on his own X-Factor-wise. But, yeah, he definitely, definitely needs just boosts everywhere. Rodriguez. I mean, we can give him the the thing. I don't know. His, he's only signed to a year, so this isn't even super, super important, honestly. Just kind of helping him out for someone else, because yeah, we ain't going to keep him. Get out of here. Don't need him to have a goal. Mantha, same sort of deal. He hasn't been good enough to worry about. Now, Rubrec, on the other hand, he's interesting. He already has all shooting stats. I have no idea what he's going to kind of do throughout the course of this season. If I look at X factors, we can give him like 20 power play goals ain't happening. Three. <laughs> I wonder if he can get three hat tricks. None of these other make sense. Unless he's actually, you know. Fuck it. Let's see if he can get three hat tricks. I don't know. I've never done it. Let's just do it for the rookie here. See what the hell he can do. Probably, he's probably not going to get that, but, you know, don't need to worry about him. Camel, on the other hand, yeah, this is... Now, what did he do? Yeah, I didn't really shoot a ton. Ugh. God. I don't know what he's going to be able to get. He's seeming like a trade the more this goes on. Well, let's try to boost him up if he's going to... I don't know, man. Let's try for third eye. Maybe he has a crazy assist season because Rubrek, I feel like, is going to shoot a lot with all that. So, whatever. Uh, everyone else doesn't matter. A lot of these guys are signed to a year.
Trying to boost his awareness again. Let's see what we can get. Again, I would love him to have something. I don't know if he gets 40 assists, but... We'll try it anyway. The rest of the guys, eh. A lot of them are on one-year deals. Molendyke does kind of matter, but he's not going to get anything. Like, yeah, he's really not. Like, not anything offensive, which is what you'd kind of want to give him. We could transition him to something else, but... Yeah, ah, uh, nothing really... Nothing really standing out of stuff to give these guys. A lot of these guys are just spot fillers, so I'm not too concerned. See, so, yeah, I don't know. All right, um, that should be just about it. I already got my scouts assigned. Uh, where's the coach thing? There it is. So, what does he think for the season? Okay. What are your thoughts on the roster? I don't know if we're making the playoffs. <laughs> I'll just agree with him. We'll go to preseason here. God, I, and I hate all these, man. Don't want to lose any of these awarenesses. <laughs> it's just so bad. Let's get goalie focus. F it. Make him better. Yeah, I'm kind of switching between that and the morale thing for everyone. It's just, yeah, I don't, I don't like that new thing. I think it's just overtuned. Anywho, that's it. Let's uh, start simming here. See what the heck this team's going to be capable of. No idea, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll find out, I guess. I want to see, you know, obviously, Rook, I just need some more growth. We got good teaching coaches. Just, geez, this again? Stop trying to give me Logan Thompson. How does it say we don't have a surplus of defensemen? That's wild to me. Whatever. Okay, preseason going well so far. We're scoring a lot at least. Winning some games here and there. But the regular season, I want to see how we're going to do. We were 5-2 and two in preseason. But I don't know if we have the enough top tier talent to really do stuff. And we start off 0-3. All right, we win our first game of the season against Buffalo. Second game of the season, tight games. That's a good scoring game. Got revenge against Chicago, and all of a sudden we have a winning record. Of course, Kern goes down. Guys, I want to grow. Time for them to get injured. Oh, really? God, who the hell was it? Ansel. There we go. Locks is up to an 85. Please be actual growth. <laughs> really need it, man. Five and three. We've won five in a row. Okay. The streak ends, but that was a good little stretch right there. Positive record. Jack Kern's back. Good. Yeah, that's going to be an annoying thing this season is any AHL injuries because I actually have to do it myself here. Of course, he jumps up to being listed as top six. I'll actually, I'll consider calling him up. I really will. And uh, get out of the monotony of all those OFDs everywhere. But we'll see. We'll see how we how we do. If the team starts clicking, which it is right now, and I don't want to mess with it. Wow. We're absolutely clicking. Like we're scoring goals, and we're some games we're having good defense. Okay, <laughs> not that one. But for the most part, we're looking pretty good. We're right now holding on to a wild card spot. Positive record. 11, 8, and 0 at this stage. I can't really complain too much about that. It looks pretty good. Let's check out the stats here. We are scoring at a pretty good rate. Evangelista continuing his awesome pace. 3, 2, 6 goals, 4, 2, 8, 4 goals against. Power, yeah, the power play, special teams. We are going to need a new coaching staff for that. That's probably something we're going to do in this offseason. That's just not okay. I think part of it has to do with... It's it's talent, but it's also the coaching. It has to be. It really has to be. Okay, great on home ice. Not so great elsewhere. Let's check out the individual scoring here. 
Evangelista with 20 points. Honolulu with 17 and 19 games played. Loxo, 13. 10 goals, though. Tolvin and 13. It's a pretty steep drop-off. Mantha Beckman. Kemmel has 9. Rodriguez Svechkov. Rubrek only has 7. Couple goals on the power play, at least. Again, he is on the third line. He is learning. Granlin only has 7. That's rough. Um... <laughs> All my OFDs have like eight points each. Getting a lot of points from the back end. Goaltender's looking good, man. Both of them. Both of them looking pretty damn good. Okay. Solid. Let's see where we go from here. I need that third line to produce a little bit more. Or the second line to do more. It's not great right now. For either of them. I will go one more month because I kind of want to see where we go from here. Oh, uh, he was not actually out. Uh oh. All right, let's jump into the scouting here, which we're obviously gonna need to do. We do have tons and tons of picks. Looking like it's just the top five of elites. But we do have a quite a bit of great top tier talent here, so I'm not super concerned. Let me just target scout now. I do want a lot of the first figured out. I do feel like. Auto Scout should be able to get a lot of that, but let's not slack or anything either. Oof, that's a steep, steep drop. Not a whole lot to look at here early on. My lowest efficiency is C minus, though, so like it's not awful. It's been much worse than others. Sometimes you got to throw guys in there with a freaking E. But no, we've uh, we've been pretty fortunate with the scouts that we've gotten and where they can they can scout and then pretty much next season they should all be like A efficiency given the fact they're all starting at C minus at the worst. But yeah, there's a lot of guys right here for the, in the medium side of things that I want to at least know about. Okay, gem way back here, absolutely. Mm, that guy's way, these guys are way out of range. Especially as this is more of a normal draft, too. I can look at the 95, though, because he could drop back. Ah, he's being looked at, look at that. Okay, solid. Yeah, not a whole lot. That's okay, though. I do want to know if there's going to be any medium elite steals in that first round. Could use some. Would be very helpful. Alright. Yeah, he's close enough to the 100 mark. And then a bunch after. I like it. Okay. At least we got good uh good selection of lows to sort of choose from. That should be a high six with where he is. You can see medium elites this early, so I will look at him. Oof. Alright, that's a good spot for a potential medium. Actually, yeah, let's give it to Cashman. He only has a couple. Well, and then that guy right there. <laughs> so we'll give this one to York. Alright, that's it for that. Nothing really on the one ticks. Yikes. Two, uh, of course he's being looked at. Oof. Any one ticks here? No. Again, kind of early, but I'll look at him. Nothing, nothing. Okay. So that's that. Auto Scout's going to have to fill in some blanks for us. We need to start winning games again. Uh oh. 
if we have a not a great month, like if we fall below 500 and then stay there, we got to make some changes, but that's a nice little bounce back. We're improving as a team. We're much more competitive. I could just tell that by the, you know, the games. I have no idea who this guy is. Of course, it's a forward. Latipov's up to an 82. Shit. That's pretty good. So it's gotta be some... <laughs> some fucking... <laughs> he actually gives him a plus in chemistry? That's nuts. Rubrek's up to an 82 too. Fucking hey, are they finally all growing? Thank goodness. Multiple players. Ooh, who's the other one? Or is it maybe someone was fully healed? Yeah, because it should be just... Yeah, it's just roast. Here we are. I can't wait to check what the uh, growth is here. I think we're actually seeing some real stuff. You know what? That was fine. I don't even need to check stats again. We're going to go straight up to the deadline here. Straight up to the deadline. Uh, Rodriguez, he wasn't actually out. Uh, Murray, no. I think we got enough defensemen in our organization. Nice win right there. You didn't score a lot, but you know what? A nice little 1-0 shutout. That's, that's a competitive-ass game, baby. We're in third in the division. All right, Molendyke goes down with an injury. That's okay. I'm throwing Stastny. All right, all right. One out of two against Colorado. Can't complain about that. They're a good team. Mm -hmm. Apparently we need Molendyke. Come on, buddy. Get back in here. All right, let me do some scouting real quick. All right, continuing on here. In a good little stretch, and we continue it. Ooh, tough loss, but we scored a lot at least. We fought. Now that's what you're looking for. Just keep fighting. Uh-oh. At least we have a nice gap between us and the next uh, team right there. Points wise, so past the all star break now. See if we can start winning some more games. Dallas is not good. You got to pick up those points. That's what I'm talking about. How's Pittsburgh looking? Decent. Get a point. Okay. Colorado. They're actually not that good, but we lost to them. So they're fighting the same as we are. Got to pick up these points here. There you go. Ooh, Carrier goes down. He's not out for too long, at least. Honula's up to an 89. Rubrex up to an 83. Loxo's still at around 85. So he might only be second liner. Is what it is, I guess. Stastny has to go in, and yeah, he's going to have to take over. But luck again, luckily, I'll just keep him there. I'm not worried about that. He's coming back in, like, after two games, essentially. So he's missing two games. It's not the end of the world. Power play. Oh, he's already back. <laughs> he's, thought it was the 26. Nope, he's already back. Evangelista, he's got seeing eye. So he must have, uh, dude, he must be killing it. So he got what he needed out of that. That's tremendous. Wow, he already has 40 assists? Nuts. Love it. Come on, we gotta win these last three games here. Or at least two out of three. Oof. Come on, guys. It's the Ducks and the Sharks. We got this. Oh, no. Nico gets injured in that game. So we gotta call up a goalie. Uh, Glifford does not have to clear waivers. Not that I think Harmerlow would get picked up, but... Still. Uh, and... Hanula got shock and awe. He wasn't the one I gave the thing to, was he? I thought it was Rubrek. He just got shock and awe on his own? I guess. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I will absolutely take it. That's crazy, okay. At least I didn't, I didn't think I gave him that one. I thought I gave him an assist one. Nice, we won those last two games. So 34, 26, and 2. We're sitting in the first wildcard position. Five points over the Avalanche, but a natural three. They do have a game in hand. All right, I like that. 
I like it. So where are we at? Three ten goals four per game could be better. Yeah, we're our our uh, our ratio trended in the wrong direction. Power play continues to suck. Yeah, we got it's got to be a coaching change in the offseason. Has to be. It's just yeah, we need we need better power play. It's partially skill, but like I said, yeah, our guys are not vibing with this power play. So Evangelista with fifty seven points. Oh, yeah, forty eight assists. Hanula, yeah, he's actually more of a goal scorer right now. Damn, dude. Uh, Loxo's got 30 goals. So he would have got the stat boost, right? Yep. Look at that. He got the stat boost. I think it goes through immediately when you get it. Yeah, because it's not there anymore. So, yep, he got that stat. Oh, yeah, his shot's so much better now. So much better. Um, Tolvin in 41, 20 goals. Eh, I don't know if he'll hit that 30 mark. Mantha's okay. Rodriguez. Kemmel, only 30 points. Yeah. More it goes on. Brandlin, Beckman. Where's Rubrek? 24 points, only three power play goals. Yeah, he ain't getting that hat trick thing. But he's grown, right? That's that's the most important part. He's developing. Not a ton of putt points back there. Doubt he gets 14 assists at the end of the year. Um, I mean, it's better goals than we have had, but it's not great. No one's at point per game, but shout out to Evangelista. He now has an X Factor. So, yeah, that's pretty damn good. I like it. I do want to check out... Yeah, Evangelista wants an extension. He probably wants some money. That's actually not that much. Five years, 6.4. I think I just fucking signed that without thinking. Yeah, now he is statted up, but right now he's taken on that first line. I don't think this will be too much of an issue. I can bump the salary down anyway as long as I give him five years. Yeah, I can go a little bit more. Five seven five. That's a good kind of in between. Now he'll he'll debate on this, but he should sign this with what his organizational interest is at. He should sign that. Yeah, I want to get that locked in. Mantha doesn't want extension. That's fine. Loxo. Okay, this is kind of important. He wants a one year bridge. I want to see if he changes his mind. I don't want to sign him to a bridge. I'd rather get him a bit longer term. Especially at that price. Like you better you better grow into that, dude. Like I was hoping to get him to a cheaper deal with how he's been growing and performing. Okay. We'll just do that. Let us check the progress reports now. Because we should actually have some actual growth. No, eventually this is all good. Okay, he's got a little Oh no, that's wait, puck control natural. No, that's actually real, because he's yeah, he's still. 26, yeah. Tons and tons of stat growth to the guy. But he's looked looks great. Hanula. A little bit of stat, but he's growing naturally. A lot of stat, actually. But still growing naturally. The fact that he's high elite is also great. He's only 19, 88 overall. Oof, he's gonna cost some money. Uh Loxo. Some stat. Okay, there you go. Yeah, the natural, it does include the goal set, so love it. A little bit more to his awareness, which is great. A little bit more to his defensive awareness. Again, still kind of a slow grower, but he is only 20. Rubrek. Oh, baby. Puck skills. Awareness. Shot accuracy. Good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and from here on in, once he should be at a second line next year. I'm going to start. I know, like, he already has the X Factor, so I'm just going to start giving him the accuracy boosts. Yep. All right, Nico Dahl. Yeah, these guys. Oh, he's up to an 81. Nice. Sweet. Good for you. Now we did. That's why we did the goalie focus a little bit. All right. In the system here, bets. All right. Solid growth. I don't know if we have any major runners. Doesn't look like it. Just decent growth across the board for a lot of guys. Latipov naturally grew. Didn't said he didn't change overall. Maybe it's because he's morale up. But yeah, he's looking really good. Finger. Kind of on pace, which is great for us. Didn't know if he would make it. He's got to keep growing, but that's a decent pace that he's on. Almavara, decent. Uh, Nilstorp, left winger. Okay. Another low elite. Yeah, we don't have any crazy runners like we did last season, but we got a lot of the guys, excuse me, that we want to grow growing, including the goaltender Nylander, yeah. 
I like it, man. Who, do we have anyone missing? Not really. Schaefer's got a little bit. Velkets has got a little bit. Yeah, we don't really have anyone missing, which is pretty great. Uh, okay, Thornton is missing, unfortunately. That's okay. All right, you know what? That's that's tremendous. We really, really got some good growth here. So when it comes to the deadline, we are looking like a playoff team. If I were to ship someone out, it'd be Granlin, shift Rodriguez down and get a better 2C. If we were going to go for a rental, that's what I would do. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of, that's it. I know we could also use maybe a defensive guy, but um, I want to see just like what the market's like. I'll look, I'll look for a defenseman as well. But first I want to do forward, um, playmaker, at least one X factor and probably has to be a rental. Although I won't limit it actually. Let's see what's available. And I will go by values here, because so that's going to be very, very important for us. So we got to go further down around here. Try to avoid the no trades, no moves. Actually, you know what? No. Overall is going to be much better. I want to look for overall and then look for lower value if I can. Mm. There's not much. Not. I was hoping for a veteran with low value. But there's not really. No, there's not really that available. No, so I might not, that might not be the move. I don't, I don't want to give up that much. And I didn't want to trade Kemmel yet. I'm going to pack, he's going to be in a package for like something we really, really need. And I don't know what that is yet. David's a 99, love it. Yeah, there's not really that playmaker available. I was hoping for. It would take like a larger kind of package. And while I wouldn't mind doing that, for someone we could use a bit more. I'm all, I also don't know yet. I don't want to don't yeah, I kind of want to see one more bump for possible bump for Kemmel. Okay. So that's that ain't it. Let's go defenseman. Just any. Overalls. See if there's anyone low value that would be useful. Not particularly. So he gave up. <laughs> he, he went with security. Yeah, it's nothing tremendous. A lot of them have pretty fair value. I was hoping for like some steals in here value-wise, but it's not a ton. Anderson, on the other hand, is a great contract. Is a solid defense and 28 years old. Nice two-way. No claws on him, like maybe Mikey Anderson. But then you gotta figure what you're giving up. What do I, what what do I give up? Molendike, given where he's at, he might be part of this package. I'm not super thrilled about the guy. Like he's an OFD, not even built well enough for an OFD. He's 23. I'd kind of start with that and then maybe add some other stuff. That would kind of be the baseline for me. Start with Molendike and then find some other stuff to kind of chuck in there. Yeah, other than that, though, that's really all there is. There's not really that great center option. But you can maybe see them giving up on Mikey Anderson there. It's going to be tough to get him, though. Again, trade block and, and other stuff like that. Not the most ideal, but uh, yeah, that's kind of all I'm thinking uh, in the, in terms of trade deadline. That center, there's not really a good center there. Um, what I could do is look non-X factor. So hold on, let me do that. What the? Wrong my controller. Why won't it? Hold on, let me unplug it. Plug it back in. What is wrong with my controller? Oh my god, the joysticks weren't working for it. That's weird. The joysticks weren't working for a second, but then other stuff, other buttons work. Interesting. Yeah, let me just go really quick back to there. Remove the X-Factor stipulation. Because that all obviously plays a, a big effect. So no X-Factor stipulation. And then this time I'll look for more of a of a rental. 
We'll expand it to two years just to be safe. So there you go. Yeah, you okay. So okay, but Crosby has a no move. So he's out of X factors, but we cannot trade for him because he's got the full no move. Yeah. But no, there's there's really nothing still. There's really nothing still. Besides, like Crosby would be the one to go for, but it's the full no move. Yeah, all right. So nothing really there. It's got to be on the defensive end. We're going to kind of have to deal with how the forwards are set. So that's really all that we have is maybe moving for a defenseman to shore that up a bit more. I don't, again, I don't want to spend too much. And if I get like a defenseman, I want him to be serviceable coming up. And he's in his prime. If we decide to sell him later, he'll have some value, right? That's kind of my thoughts on it. But you guys, let me know what you think. Remember to hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one.